Christ be my Savior, in calm as in strife. So we're here in the Caramel Ridge, and this is where Elijah had his face off with the prophets of Baal. And they were trying to determine who is the real God. And it was trying to figure out by an act of fire being cast down. And it seemed like all hope was lost because Elijah was the last of the prophets and he was going up against 450. And he was at such a disadvantage, but he had such a great faith in God that he had put himself at an even further disadvantage. He said, you know what, let's douse the fire that God's supposed to light on fire to prove that he's real. He said, you know what, no, let's douse it a few times, again and again and again. And you know what, we'll even make a trench around it and we'll pour that full of water. Because it's not about what we do, it's about how God shows up. And so the story is a huge example of that. And so he has this mountaintop experience of God just doing something amazing. And immediately after, he's fearing for his life. And it can go so quickly from that, from these mountaintop experiences to being down in the valley as he ran down that hill and found out that his life was at risk. And so he went back to Mount Sinai, the same mountain that Moses went to. And he said, God, I don't know if this covenant's going to work out anymore. I know you made this to your people. I know you promised it. And I called on your name. I said, the God of Israel, the one you've made this covenant with. But God, I don't know if this is going to work anymore. And God said, I need you to return. I need you to go back. And he's going, how am I supposed to go back? They're going to kill me. But he knew that God was going to provide for him. So he faithfully obeyed. And when we're in that place and we're going back to God and we're saying, God, you made these promises to us and I I don't see it coming to fruition. I don't see it happening. He reminds us that the promises he makes are good and they stay with us. And so just like he made those promises to Moses on Mount Sinai and he made them to Elijah, the next time they were both on a mountain was at the transfiguration of Christ. And how cool it must have been to be in that moment and be reminded not just of the promises in that moment, but of the great promise of God shining through his son and his face just illuminating on those that were around him. And the name that Elijah was given in Hebrew is, My God is Yahweh. And so the story of Baal and the prophets and who's God, it's not a matter of who is it. It's going down to our bedrock and our faith and saying, beyond my circumstances, beyond when it seems like the promises of God are lost, we're trusting in him and saying, my God is Yahweh. My God is Christ. Yeah.